uh, different women, uh, Aisha and Hafsa, for example. Aisha is the daughter of a worker. Uh, Hafsa is the daughter of, of Omar. And um, in this hadith, they have a you know they have a problem with uh, with the prophet. And in this hadith, Abu Bakr gets up. It says Abu Bakr uh, then got up and went to Aisha and slapped her on the neck. And Omar stood up before Hafsa and slapped her, saying, "You ask a lost messenger of something which he does not possess." So here, in this in a situation, you see that the <laughs> that, yeah. that the that the fathers here actually yeah. go to them and and hit them. Yeah, you know, these are, keep them. it keep in mind, everyone, these are Muhammad's wives being slapped yeah. around by other companions of Muhammad. They're being yeah, which is weird. I can't. I mean, my wife's got a dad, nice guy. I cannot imagine sitting there while he slaps around my wife. What, what, yeah. what, I can't imagine so the holy, the holy prophet dad Muhammad, yeah. slapping her around in front of me. Yeah, the prophet Muhammad, the holy prophet Muhammad, is married to these to these uh, women among others, and uh, their dads just come here and they uh, they slap them, they they beat them, and say, "How dare you ask him things that he doesn't want to do or that he doesn't possess?" So uh, we're talking about wife beating, and here we have an obvious case of their 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 fathers as authorities coming and beating them as they are. Uh, already married to this guy. Why would it be so strange to imagine that yeah. uh, people would beat their wives? Yeah. Um, so anyway, point is, uh, everyone's slapping around Muhammad's wives. Yeah, yeah. Stop beating Muhammad's wives. Pretty, man. pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Stuff. Pretty, pretty bad stuff. Stop beating up Muhammad's wives. All right. So yeah. So so now now we know now now we know like what you can now we know what you could do like if you had a. <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> go ahead go ahead so i mean i mean to, to keep in mind because people need to know what hijab is saying right here so, so imagine <laughs> imagine this is your imagine this is your wife ladies and gentlemen uh so imagine this imagine i'm a uh so notice that there, there are two types of, there are two types of muslims according to muhammad hijab right there there are the the proper muslims the ones who understand that you know they have to interpret the, the claims of the quran um in light of the hadith and so hijab interprets the hadith as saying if this is my wife i would have to wait till she's nine i have to wait until she's nine to have sex with her when if i were quran only i would read surah you know uh, surah 65 verse 4 and say hey you know i, I can marry this girl as a, as a five-year-old right she could this could be a five-year-old you're talking pre-K, right? You're not even kindergarten, right? Pre-K five, right? That's before kindergarten. So this is pre-K five, or you know that could be that could be the, the beginning of kindergarten. But uh, this is a pre-K girl th that you can actually marry, and so he's saying that's bad enough thinking that you could marry this little girl. Oh look, oh, I want to go play in the sandbox. No, you're gonna marry me. No, I'm gonna play on my swing. <laughs> no, 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 you're getting married, and I'm taking you back to my house. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I can have sex with you. You, you know, you're 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 five, right? Um <laughs> so, Go ahead. And, then, Go ahead. and so hijab is, is hijab is drawing a hijab is drawing a distinction between Muslims who would only marry this girl once she's nine, and the Quran only Muslims who would have no problem marrying a five-year-old. But then in addition to that, we never got the final point, but he was making another horrifying point. That what if what if this girl's disobedient? What if it's going to be different situations? Because on the one hand, it's going to be a nine-year-old who's disobedient, and if you're Quran only, it could be a five-year-old girl. So she goes off to you know she goes off to pre-K five, she goes off to pre-K five or to kindergarten and disobeys you, and ah, now I have to implement Surah four verse thirty-four on you. How dare you? How dare you not wear a proper hijab when you're going to when you're going to pre-k how dare you right <laughs> and so what hijab is pointing out is that if you're if you're uh you know an, an orthodox muslim and you believe in the hadith one she's going to be nine so she's going to be in like third grade not it's going to be a third grader uh and then when you say what could i do to her you have to go with what you find in the hadith that you're allowed to do so you're allowed to beat her until her skin turns green. You're allowed to slap. I mean, we see uh, Abu Bakr and and uh, you know Umar and so on slapping slapping them around and stuff. So you be able to you know shut up. How dare you? How dare you? You ah, how dare you not write that? How dare you? Right? But it's it's going to be stuff like that, right? You're not you're not doing like you're not like chopping her head off or anything. You're just you know how ah, how dare you disobey me? How dare you? You you said what about top G? 
You said you don't like Tom Chi. <laughs> you said you don't like Andrew Tate. How dare you? <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> How dare you? Shut up. Don't you ever say anything about Tom Chi again. That's what you'd be like, right? And you could do this until her skin is no longer this light brown. It's actually green, right? You, you beat her until her skin turned green. Totally fine, according to the Hadith. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's orthodox Islam. You can beat her until her skin turns green. That's what hijab is defending. And there are Muslims who don't want to have to deal with hadiths about a woman being beaten until her skin turned green and, you know, Muhammad having sex with a nine-year-old girl. So they say, keep us away from those books. We'll just, we'll, we'll just go with the Quran. That'll save us from embarrassment. And hijab says, no. That is not what happens, because if you just go with the Quran, now instead of being nine, she's five. She is pre-K. She is pre-K or she's beginning of a beginning of kindergarten. But now you're dealing with a five-year-old. So what do you do with the five-year-old? Well, um, let's suppose she made fun of you. She went to her little, you know, her little kindergarten and she said, my husband is impotent. He's as useless <laughs> to me. He's as useless to me as this sock, right? Um. And, and so you say, okay, now I warned you for that, right? And then she 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 goes to kindergarten again or pre-K, whatever she's going to, and she comes back and up, oh, she wasn't, she's not wearing her, she's not wearing her her hijab properly. So now I have to escalate, right? I have to escalate. So I say, you dirty little whore, you get into a separate bed. No, you get into your crib. You get into your crib and the other, no sleeping in my bed. You go back to your crib. You go back to your crib where you belong. And so she goes off to her crib and so on. But then she goes, she she keeps going, she keeps going to pre-K or kindergarten and causing trouble. And then that's when she does it. She goes, she's talking to her little friends and she says, uh, uh, I think Andrew Tate is, is a bad influence on Muslim men because now they think they can just go around beating us until we become their webcam girls. And then she comes home and notice now you're already on stage three. You're already on stage three. He already warned her. He, he already he, he already warned her for saying he's impotent. Then he banished her to a separate bed. Um, be, for not wearing her hijab properly. And then on top of all that, he dishonored and disgraced top G. Now, what do you do? Not according to me, <laughs> not according to me. You're Quran only Muslim. What do you do as a Quran only Muslim? Not according to me, not according to AP, according to Muhammad hijab. What do you do? He says, well, if you're an aggressive person like him, then you would conclude, you would conclude that strike includes up to, it's up to and including chopping her head off the way you would do an enemy in battle, right? So according to hijab, hey, three strikes and you're out. Look, this is your third strike. How dare you? How dare you? You think I'm going to beat you? Wrong. So, you know, what are you going to do here? You're going to... Uh, <laughs> you get nah, that's not <laughs> But I, I, want, I want to quickly add, this what? is not what we are advocating. This is not what we are saying. This is how we are interpreting what Muhammad hijab says. And that's a problem. Yeah, th yeah, this is yeah. So this is not us, ladies and gentlemen. We think, just to be clear, we think this is awful. We think this is bad. But this is what hijab is saying that Quran only Muslims can conclude is halal. So you know, you can you you've got a nice, matter of fact. That's a that's a little too scary. Let's uh, here we go. There's a hacksaw. <laughs> How dare you? You think I'm going to give you a quick slice? Wrong. We're going to make this nice and slow with this hacksaw. Right? That's, that's not good enough either. You got to do it D. Wood style, man. You got to do it. You got to do it D. Wood style. I'll show you what you're messing with. How dare, how dare you? You think you can mess with me? You think you can dishonor me? How dare you think you can do that? <laughs> I don't even know if I should do this on camera. <laughs> How dare you think you can talk to me like that? Oh, you, David, you. David, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't stop. do it. What do you don't mean? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I've gone Quran only, man. What do you think I'm going to do? Don't, don't, don't do it. This is, this is too much. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> No, Hijab says, Hijab says, says, this is what I have to do because I'm Quran only. David, don't do it. David, no. If I just believe, if I just believe, 
if I just believe in the Quran, Allah's <laughs> perfect <laughs> eternal speech, this is what I get. How dare you say that about Top G? How dare you? Oh, no, 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 David, oh, David. Oh, yeah, Oh my god. Ladies ladies and gentlemen. You know not to miss the top G. Not to miss the top G. Daniel! Daniel say that about him! How dare you? <laughs> I'm gonna hang this up in the nursery school. What? What? What is on your face? <laughs> it's bear blood. <laughs> and now all your other wives, I mean, all my other wives will know. And this will be a warning to all you other girls. How is this real? Top G! <laughs> Top G! What? What? That's right. Uh, <laughs> Hang oh this my. up right here. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. Oh, boy. All this, right. this, this will probably get taken down. <laughs> hey, 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 by, the, by the way, you know, you know what's funny? <laughs> Wait, what in the world just happened? <laughs> You know what's funny? Like, we've got all these guys praying that, like, we die and we get diseases. You remember that? They were like, call, like, Ali Dawa was calling for Muslims to pray for us to die and get sick and stuff. But, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got my tools sitting around. Like, like I always tie up the safeties. There's a safety on here. I've got that, I've got it tied off. So there's not the safety. But I mean, I'm, I mean, all the stupid stuff I do with it, like, I really like feel like I could, like, sort of shave gently with this. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Wait, wait, David, what, what is on your face? Seriously, dude. What's on your face? It's bear blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I didn't accidentally, I didn't accidentally kill myself. I got what, some, I got some what fake blood. You, what did you put on your face? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ready? What? Here you go. <laughs> tell you what happened ladies and gentlemen i was driving my car down the street and then an islamophobe came up to me and he said i know you from your brilliant dawah videos and you're converting too many people and so look at what he did to me he, he stabbed me and where where are david wood and the apostate prophet <laughs> <laughs> well the islamophobia never end but just just keep in mind keep in mind ap it's good because we got the guy we got him we got him. The cops got him. Yes, I gave them the information, and they got the video. And and this guy's already in jail. He's already in jail. Andrew Tate saw him while he was locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonderful conclusion. Wow. Wow. This just happened. This just. Happened. <laughs> <laughs> the Islamophobes got me. <laughs> 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 And where is AP to condemn this? <laughs> wow, man! What a wow. religion, man! These are the champions of Dawa. These are the these are the champions of Dawa, man. So, what happened here tonight? What happened here tonight is a coming together of. <laughs> <laughs> A real world and an unimaginable weird universe, which was introduced to us by a gentleman by the name of Mohammed Hijab. We are merely here to witness it come to life in the form of David Wood, who has some strange blood like thing on his face. It's fake blood. And, and 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 this, but this is like notice. It's more realistic than what we saw on Sheikh Uthman, right? That's this, true. This, look, That's this true. looks more like more like real blood than That's what true. was smeared on his uh, falb, I guess. That, 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 that is, I... 
<laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I'm totally. <laughs> I'm, out of... I'm looking at this like, man, I got to. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... You see? <laughs> you see what you get? You see what you get when you mess with the hawk? The hawk and the hickma. We've the got the hawk. We've got the hawk and the hickma. We've got the hawk and the hickma. This is what you get. I, I wonder if Muhammad Hijab is watching this live again. Don't mess with the hawk and the hitma. 